And good morning, church. I hope you're having a blessed day today. And we are looking at June the 21st, June 21st of 2023. And I want to look at, I want to look at the Beatitudes this morning, just briefly. Uh, one of the things that we look at a lot of times is, you know, the blessed are, uh, blessed are those in poor in spirit, uh, for theirs will be the kingdom of heaven. Uh, and I want to run through give you an overview and I want to spend the next few days going through these individually. It says, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are the the meek, blessed are those that hunger and thirst, blessed are the merciful, uh, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are the peacemakers, and blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. And verse 11, blessed are, blessed are those, blessed are you when they rile and persecute you. And say all kinds of evil things against you falsely for my name's sake. Uh, those things do not, um, blessed are, it doesn't say blessed are the ones who make, who make a lot of money and um, life just seems to be real easy. That's not what it's saying. And as I was looking at it a little while ago, it's, it's, um, I was looking for something else, but I came across that. And I believe the Lord wanted me to share that this morning. The blessed are the ones who who have to endure. You know, the Bible says, uh, those that endure till the end shall be saved. And that's one of the things that the Lord's really speaking to me about is we're going to have to endure some things. Um, our, the, the, the testing comes, the, the purification. Um, reminded years ago, we took a lot of um, lead and it was nasty, it was dirty, it was, and, and we melted it down. And when we took it and melted it down, and I've heard this from a lot of smithies, that when you, when you melt the metal down and you do that, you know that it's pure when you can see the reflection on, on, on the top. That's how uh, somebody that melts metals and, and gold and silver and everything, you have to heat it up and let get all the impurities come to the top, and then you wipe the top clean, and the re you can see your reflection in it. And we should be the reflection of our Father, and that's one of the things that we really need to look at. But going back to the Beatitudes, I encourage us all to to look at those things. Um, if you're poor in spirit, that's okay. Just keep looking to, to keep looking to the Lord. If you're if if you're mourning. If, if you're around somebody, I got a friend of mine right now that's that's going through some mourning. He's going through some difficult times in his marriage. Um, well, the Bible says he's going to be comforted. Um, and, and it just goes on and on. And we're going to get through these in the next few weeks. We're going to, we're going to look at each one and uh, really rip it apart and try to encourage each and every one of us that God is absolutely in control. And he will have the last say. And he is on the throne and he is good. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, tell somebody about Jesus today. Tell somebody um, that, that there is hope. Tell somebody that all this, you know, this is just for a season and that um, God will have the final say and we need to be on his side and loving him and, and rejoicing. And just remind reminder what Peter said when Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? You know I love you. Lord, you know I love you. And he asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? And let us let, let us just go out with that today. Lord, you know I love you. Amen. Good morning, Ms. Brenda. Good morning, Rodney. I hope you all have a blessed day. Marvin, everybody. Um, Jonathan, tell somebody about Jesus. Make this the best day yet. Amen.